In Tunisia, Ben Ali leaves, and uh, there's a you know a reasonably successful transition. Libya descends into civil war, but isn't suppressed in the same way that the protests were in Syria. I mean, he polarized the situation from the very beginning. All the Arab Spring countries started as protests against corruption and oppression. They were, the, the people of these countries had completely reasonable democratic demands. Uh, and they were met in every case, but particularly in Syria, they were met with gunfire, with machine gunfire in the streets of their own cities and towns. If you do that to a people, if enough, if enough people die, if there's no other alternative, eventually the populace will arm itself and fight back. And that's what happened in Syria. And then you have an escalation. And in some countries, the escalation resulted in the toppling of the regime. So I took, you know, a lot of trips to the region, to Turkey, to Jordan, to Iraq, and then all around Europe. But on the last trip to northern Iraq, we basically went to the, the edge of the world as far as, you, as civilization goes. I can have a lot of seven years. I the big problem in making this film was that going into Syria as a Western journalist um, was basically a suicide mission. So what we had to do was basically have proxy shooters within Syria that we were working with. We had Syrians, very brave Syrians, including the family that we documented, who were able to document the war for us. And we worked very closely with them, giving them shooting instructions. And we basically had to um, shoot this film from across an international border working with people in Syria. <laughs> Initially, what we wanted to do was make a film that explained how the Syrian civil war got its start, why it became so vicious, and how ISIS came out of that situation. We also wanted to humanize it. We wanted to show the, um, what daily life was like in Syria, in the different areas, um, for the majority of people who are good people, uh, who are just trying to survive a terrible situation.